those who will show mercy to the Israelite people in the end of times, during their great tribulation, the Lord will reward them because they have done it unto the least of his brethren. The least of the Lord's brethren are the Jewish people of the end times, 21st century. And the dragon was enraged. But you see, but the earth held the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. See, the dragon tried to bribe the Israelite nation, but the people of the earth helped the Jewish people and said, it's okay, stay faithful, stay loyal. They embraced them into their own homes, into their own lives. That earth opened up its mouth and swallowed that water which came out of the dragon's mouth. Meaning, people of the world helped the Jewish people in the end of times. You see, now the world despises the Jews. But when the great tribulation comes, the world will show mercy to the Jews. And whoever from the world shows mercy to the Jews, Jesus will reward that pagan accordingly. So maybe by being nice to the Jew, he may be also saved by the Lord Jesus. Just by being nice to the Jew. My beloved, everything will turn upside down later on because the Lord will make sure that there is no one ever in charge except him he will make sure that they're doing what they're doing now and they are thinking they're getting away with it let's buy all these massive fields in America and plant our own vegetations and let's fill those vegetations with poison. Bill Gates and George Soros. And let us be the number one seller of this veggie produce to the entire world. Some people did not want to get the jab. So we'll jab them in different ways through cucumbers and tomatoes and potatoes. Through water through plantations you don't want the poison through a needle will give you nature naturally we'll give it to you naturally so next time you go and buy the veggies it'll be full of poison and through chemtrail thanks to our airlines we'll fill the air with poison and let it rain down and infiltrate everywhere And through cloud seeding, we'll make climate change happen. And since climate change is happening, then we need to take care of emission. So your car is putting too much pollution out there in the air. The factories, everything has to change. Everything needs to be reshaped, modified. AI is around the corner. Artificial intelligence is coming, my dear friend. So Woolies, how many people do you have in your, in your big, big factories working? 5,000, 50,000, you don't need them. They are a liability. You are paying so much for these employees. They, you have to pay for their sickies, for their superannuations, for their holidays. And if they do extra overtime, you need to pay them more. Make a machine that works 24-7 non-stop and you pay the machine. No super, no sick leave, no holidays, no nothing. And if you want to be stubborn and still drive a petrol car, then we will charge you on every kilometer you drive. Because you are now a pollution to Mother Nature and climate change. So we'll have to tax you on every kilometer. And we'll increase the price of petrol like we have done in the last few years. We'll make it just to make you happy $4 a litre. And let me see if you will have no other choice but to get rid of your good old Holden V8, mate. I'll, I, I enjoy the sound of a V8. I don't know, just, the good old Holden, man, I really feel sorry that it is no longer, you know, what a beautiful piece of art. The HSV, mate. 
the roaring lion. And they will give you this little tiny remote control car. And it is automated. It's autonomous. There is no driver. Because the big boys behind the scenes are driving your car for you wherever they choose, not you. <laughs> I pray every evil agenda, the Lord decimate that agenda from its root. Put Satan to shame. Put every evil doer to shame to prove one thing that Jesus Christ is God and everyone else is nothing but a piece of dust. Every time they use cloud seeding, I pray it's a sunny day. Every time they create clouds, the Lord goes, just like a little kid blows a candle on their birthday. May the Lord just with a small little kid blow decimates every unnatural cloud and put mankind to shame and he will actually I help the way I change the weather every time they say it's I go to the weather bureau and they say it's right raining no, no, I say look it's sunny now and I wake up it's sunny if you don't want to believe that it's up to you Jesus is God when you trust in him you will see the glory of God 